Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MediaMark Reporter to get demographic data for people who purchase popcorn. So here you go. So when you first get to MRI, what you want to do is uh, register here for free, create a personal account with them. So I have uh, one team member probably should do this per team. Uh, then once you're able to do that, you actually will get a confirmation email. You can go in and log in. And I'll log in as me here. And then what you want to do, ignore everything over here, but go over here and click on Media Mark Reporter. And if you're using Chrome, it's not going to let you access this. It's going to say your browser is not compatible, uh, which to me is kind of wonky, but uh, I usually just use Firefox for this particular uh, database. So you get here, you're wondering, what in the world do I do now? There's no search box here. If you click on Fall 2010 product there, it gives you a search box down here, okay? And so I'm just going to go down here and search for popcorn and click search. And then the first thing here gives you uh, small kitchen appliances, popcorn maker, and you get demographic data over here for uh, those uh, uh, people who buy popcorn makers. Well, we're interested actually in the popping corn and popcorn snacks. So we'll click on the next one there. And you see we get a lot more data here. Um, so these are national trends for people who... Uh, who buy popcorn. Now these are done on consumer uh, surveys, so these are all projections, not actual. So they didn't go out and say, okay, we interviewed you know, um, 142,442 million uh, homemakers, and of that, 76 million um, told me that they uh, buy popcorn. Okay, they don't really do that. Um, what, they, what they do do is they, they do a projection on, on uh, the data that they do collect there. So if we go down and say, well, here is, um, you know, who buys popcorn snacks? And over here on the right-hand side, you get, you know, things like their age, educational level, income, uh, household income, uh, whether they have children or not, uh, home value, their race, all this kind of stuff. So all this data here uh, can be downloaded as an Excel spreadsheet. This is really useful, particularly in combination with things like the Ohio County Profiles, the American Fact Finder Census data, uh, because what you can do is say, well, if I'm opening a uh, franchise in Athens County, Ohio, and there is a huge number of people who uh, potentially uh, buy popcorn, let's see, the largest group of popcorn uh, buyers looks like um, this age group here, okay, the 55 to 64 year olds, okay. Um, and so what you can actually do is uh, look at that similar data via Ohio County Profiles or in American Fact Finder Census data and see, well, how many of those people do we have living in Ohio? So it's really useful for uh, that kind of information uh, to compare the national level and take it down to the, to the local level with Ohio County Profiles and American Fact Finder and other resources like that. So a great way to do uh, research uh, for a variety of, of things like that, and you do get some really good data uh, you can even scroll down and see, you know, what kind of t uh, cable television they watch, what kind of magazines they read. Uh, scrolling down some more, way on down here, and you can see what time they watch TV, uh, what their TV show types are, and uh, if they visit any of these major websites or not. So a great way to get national uh, uh, demographic data on people who purchase uh, particular brands of popcorn. Hopefully this helps you understand how to find data on people who purchase popcorn and MediaMark Reporter. Once again, you can use this data with local census data found via American Fact Finder or the Ohio County Profiles to kind of compare local level de demographic and economic information with the information that you get from the national data from MediaMark Reporter. So hopefully this helps you. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.